Unveiling the Mystery, Saturn's Slow Farewell to Its Enchanting Rings. Journey into the heart of the cosmos as we explore a celestial phenomenon that's leaving scientists awestruck. Join us in this captivating video as we delve into the mesmerizing story of Saturn, the ringed giant, and its gradual farewell to the iconic rings that have graced our night skies for aeons. Prepare to be spellbound as we unravel the science, the beauty, and the profound questions behind Saturn's vanishing masterpiece. Saturn faces a perilous situation, as its largest moon and iconic rings are vanishing at a pace 100 times faster than previously foreseen. When the planet's distinctive rings were initially discovered to be disintegrating, astronomers predicted a gradual loss. However, recent observations reveal that Saturn's largest moon is speeding away from its home planet at an extraordinary rate, 100 times quicker than previously believed. Initially, scientists assumed Titan, Saturn's moon, was receding from its orbit at a rate of about 0.1 centimeters per year. Recent findings published in Nature Astronomy suggest that it might be moving away at almost 11 centimeters per year, an increase of 100 times. This startling discovery indicates that Saturn's moon is not only drifting away, but it's also taking other components with it. In December 2018, NASA researchers concluded that Saturn's rings are also disappearing more rapidly than before. These rings, in fact, release particles at a pace that could fill an Olympic-sized pool every half an hour. In around 100 million years, the rings could cease to exist entirely, which is 200 million years NASA's earlier Cassini than previously. spacecraft, and the James Webb Space Telescope reveal that Saturn's rings are dissipating faster than previously thought. These rings, spanning over 280,000 kilometers from Saturn and wide enough to hold six Earths side by side, are a recognizable feature of our solar system. Nevertheless, their existence has an expiration date. Saturn is shedding its rings at an accelerated pace, driven by the bombardment of extremely small meteoroids and sunlight. This process vaporizes ice particles, creating charged water molecules that interact with Saturn's magnetic field and eventually burn up in the atmosphere. The Cassini spacecraft's observations before its crash into Saturn showed that the rain from the rings is denser than initially believed. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we now have the privilege of observing Saturn from a safe distance. In a recent study to be published in Science, researchers explain that Saturn, currently with 83 moons, may have hosted an additional satellite named Chrysalis. This moon, along with its siblings, orbited Saturn for billions of years, affecting the planet's tilt in resonance with Neptune. Chrysalis, however, became unstable around 160 million years ago, leading to a close encounter with Saturn that tore it apart. This event freed Saturn from Neptune's influence and left it with its current tilt. The researchers suggest that while most of Chrysalis's fragments collided with Saturn, some remained in orbit, eventually breaking into icy chunks that formed the planet's rings. This hypothesis could explain Saturn's tilt and the age of its rings, which were previously thought to be about 100 million years old, much younger than the planet itself. Professor Jack Wisdom, from MIT's Department of Planetary Sciences, the lead author of the study, likens Chrysalis's sudden activity to a butterfly's cocoon, suggesting that this activation led to the formation of the rings. The study involves other contributors from MIT, the University of California at Berkeley, the University of Arizona, the University of California at Santa Cruz, and Wellesley College. The hypothesis of Saturn's tilted axis due to a gravitational resonance with Neptune was first proposed in the early 2000s. However, findings from the Cassini probe, sent into orbit around Saturn by NASA from 2004 to 2017, added a fresh dimension to the issue. Titan, Saturn's largest satellite, was discovered to be moving away from Saturn at a significantly faster rate than scientists had anticipated, about 11 millimeters each year. 
Scientists concluded that the moon Titan likely tilted Saturn and kept it in resonance with Neptune due to the moon's rapid movement and gravitational pull. But this theory hinges on missing crucial information. Saturn's moment of inertia, which describes mass distribution within the planet's interior. The tilt of Saturn could vary based on whether its core holds a greater mass concentration than its surface. To make progress, determining Saturn's moment of inertia during the grand finale phase of the Cassini mission was essential. During this phase, the spacecraft closely approached Saturn to map its gravitational field. In a new study, Wisdom and colleagues aimed to determine Saturn's moment of inertia using final observations from Cassini. By utilizing the gravitational field, they modeled Saturn's interior and found mass distribution consistent with Cassini's gravitational field observations. Surprisingly, Saturn's newly determined moment of inertia placed it near Neptune, but just outside resonance. There might have been a time when the planets were in harmony, but that's past. Wisdom claims that they explored possibilities for removing Saturn from Neptune's resonance. They ran computer simulations tracking Saturn's orbital dynamics and its moon's evolution backwards in time. This search yielded no relevant results, so they revisited the mathematical equations defining planetary precession, considering the unique contributions of each satellite. The group concluded that altering the planet's precession could result from removing just one satellite. The question was, the necessary size and orbital dynamics for such a satellite to disrupt Saturn's resonance. Wisdom's team conducted simulations to determine these characteristics, ultimately finding that Saturn's current tilt resulted from its resonance with Neptune and the loss of a satellite named Chrysalis. This satellite, similar in size to Iapetus, Saturn's third largest moon, entered a chaotic orbital zone between 200 and 100 million years ago. Close encounters with Iapetus and Titan led to a grazing encounter with Saturn that tore Chrysalis apart, leaving debris in a ring. This event explains Saturn's precession, current tilt, and the late formation of its rings. Wisdom believes this narrative needs further investigation, but notes that the lost satellite, Chrysalis, might have been waiting for its instabilities to emerge. Recognizable rings could be transient, and other large planets like Neptune and Jupiter might have had similar rings that went unnoticed. If you've enjoyed insights in this video, we'd greatly appreciate your support. Be sure to show your appreciation by hitting the thumbs up button and joining our community of engaged viewers. By subscribing to our channel, you'll be in the front row for all our upcoming content, ensuring you never miss a moment of the exciting discoveries and discussions that lie ahead.